The brakes have been put on a $9 billion tunnel that would have connected New Jersey with Manhattan. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie pulled the plug on the project, saying the Garden State just can't afford it. However, the tunnel is already under construction. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent already. It's not fair. It's not fair to the citizens of this of this state of ours. It's not fair to the people in the region. It's not fair, fair to businesses. The state simply doesn't have the money. And I'm not going to ask the taxpayers of the state of New Jersey to take it on faith that a project tunneling under Manhattan Island and the Hudson River will run um, even close to these cost estimates. New Jersey had agreed to put up $2.7 billion toward the project, but Christie says a new report says the price could jump to $5 billion. I'm not going to put the taxpayers of our state on the hook for costs that are well in excess of what this was originally projected to be. The Trans-Hudson Tunnel has been in the works for a decade. If completed, it would double the number of trains going between New York and New Jersey, something that transit advocates say is desperately needed. This decision today by the governor means the governor is turning his back <coughs> on transit riders and on the environment. It's also estimated that thousands of jobs would have been created because of the tunnel. In the name of cost overruns, the governor is throwing out the baby with the bathwater. New Jersey residents cannot afford to throw away $6 billion, over 40,000 jobs, and 20 years' worth of planning in 30 days. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood and Governor Christie plan to meet Friday to discuss a path forward on the tunnel project. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.